Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Two Set Violin. You might be wondering Hi. why there's a third person here. Don't worry, this guy is really important. His mm. name is Olaf and he's a violin restorer and maker. Hi. So today we're gonna learn how to rehair a violin bow. For those of you who don't know, rehairing is basically we have a bow and there's this horsey on it. And depends how much you practice, that's right, means when or when you should rehair the bow. Olaf, can you explain briefly to everyone? The yes. processes of okay, so the hair sits inside the bow just uh, with little wedges that go in the top here and into the frog, which we haven't taken this frog apart yet. We're going to do that. So we've got to fit like these wedges, then we've got to tie the hair together. Once the top wedge is in, we have to comb it for a long time uh, to make it really straight. And then at the bottom end, yeah, we've got to tie it up again and then we've got to put it all together and there's a little wedge that goes right at the end called the spreader wedge. Did you get yeah. that bro? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I remember yeah. everything. So this is one of the wedges yeah. I have previously fitted. So oh, yeah. it literally yeah. sits in the top here yeah. and wedges Whoa. the hair in. And the hair actually pulls this way, it actually pulls the wedge tighter. We've got to take one apart first because that's really where it all starts. So first of all, I've got to take the wedge out of the top here and now I'm going to dig this one out. Oh, oh this is good. Good. It's like picking um, out the teeth. Just putting some leather around here so I don't damage it. I'm just wiggling that loose at the moment. Whoa. <laughs> this is a little spreader witch. I'll be okay. taking that out as well. Wow. Okay, now the next is the slide. So this is called the slide. Yeah, that's sli a slide. Because it slides, that makes sense. Very logical with their name. Except for frog. <laughs> Why'd they call it a frog? <laughs> <laughs> This is the knot, the way it was sitting in there. Oh, and that's how they sit in the knot. Yeah, yeah, it sits around like this. Mm -hmm. And it actually, because it pulls that way, it actually pulls the knot tight. So now I have to clean the frog. Mm -hmm. A bit of leather, and you literally try and slide it along like this, and it kind of cleans all oh, the, all the gunk bit. off. Why leather? I don't know, it just grabs well, I think. And I've got a bit of Magic. silver polish on there. I also have to clean this. Someone else want to go with this? Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, look, look at that. that. Whoa, nah, that was it. already clean. See the mortise here? This is not actually quite the right shape. It's too straight down, so it's, it's supposed to like go back that way. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually gonna, I'm actually <gasps> gonna <laughs> reshape it. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I just realized yeah. something. If you wanted to be a musician, but your parents wanted to, you to be a doctor, just be a luthier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's it. Perform surgery on bows. Violinists are smarter. They <laughs> just are. Oh! <laughs> Studies on what happened. Not so much whether it's a violin, if it's a musical instrument in general. But when you play a musical instrument, you have a lot more neural connections in your brain. It, oh, okay. It fits in that looks more like real. this, yeah. Okay. Slightly, let's just have a look. That should, that should work nicely there. That is the first part. It's not everyone does this, but this is how I learned it from my dad and a lot of the English bow makers do the same thing. The way I'm hollowing this out makes, makes the bow hair sit really firmly where it's, where it's supposed to sit. And so. even the way I'm rounding it off here, it, it allows the hair to kind of spread out, like fan out from here. Ah, yeah. And the other thing I do on really good bows, I actually put a little bit more hair on the playing side and then I put a little bit more tension on the other side. Oh yeah, to, to counteract so it doesn't the tilt. Twi yeah, yeah, so yeah. it doesn't twist the bow. Alright, now, do you want to try whitening some hair? Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. So mm -hmm. the, the quantity, I, I always do this by feel. I literally Whoa. take a, a small quantity of hair. Oh, like okay. This by feel. <laughs> I feel, wow. If you were to count these, you'd probably get to around like 120 to 130 hairs. This is rosin, like powdered rosin. And I put that in be between because it sticks the hair together. So I get a string. So what I do, I literally wind a string around this really tightly. So like I'll do one turn and do it really tightly, do another turn. I look at the, um, the hole and see how big it needs to be. Tie a knot. And then tie a double knot. <laughs> now, mm. who'd like to have a go at this? <laughs> oh yeah. What I'll do is I'll actually cut this one open yeah, and yeah, go I'm again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So not using too much hair. Yeah. <laughs> My good Mongolian hair <laughs> slowly <laughs> disappearing. Grab this into this hand. That's it, and hold it nice and firmly together. And then you need to get the string around. 
Eight. Yeah, that's heaps. Details. That's heaps. good enough. Yes, that's heaps. Now, okay. how are you going to do it? You're going to do a knot. <laughs> oh, the knot. Oh. That's what you use with that. Do I use this one with a knot? Yeah, that's. that's I'm just going to hold, hold that. Yeah, yeah. Uh -oh, that's, that's it. There we go. Now we go. Now we got it. Okay. Boom. Double knot. Double knot. Double knot. You lock it in. Lock it in. <laughs> okay, lock it in. That's oh! Dead. Beautiful. Okay. Oh my god, my hands. <laughs> okay, so now. We'll okay, just... so next step is you, you actually cut it off with just a little bit to spare. Uh, so, so you want to just have like have about like you cut it off about here. Okay? Oh, the horse hair. Yeah. yeah. Right, so like the, but the short end, please, yeah. not the long end. Go 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 go! Oh! Yeah. oh! It's like <laughs> nice. a firework. Oh, it's not okay. perfect. So the next step, um, it's, it's a bit worrying. Do you want to? <laughs> <Well, laughs> <Yeah. laughs> We'll just cut off this string as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so shortcut. And uh, the next step's kind of burning the end of the ha hair off. Yeah. So you you want it to. I might Fire. see. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we've got to be careful here because the whole the whole thing. You're doing that. <laughs> <laughs> you like... Just touch the flame. <laughs> so oh. what I've done by burning this, the tips of the hairs swell like they get bigger and and that stops the knot from slipping out. Got this. <laughs> I don't I'm running. I don't even know how to use a lighter. Just, man. We get, I've got oh, a, right, I got a okay. number on a fire. Hold the lighter. Uh, <laughs> you know, they just go whoosh. Okay, you're just gonna make sure you hold it sideways. There we go, there we go. <laughs> so I'm it's panicking. A, it's a child so you're going proof, to, um, lighter. You're so you got, yes. Okay. Uh, now what? Okay. Now, yeah. Now. What if it burns? Can you help me if it burns? Yes. I might I'll just try. drop it onto the ground, no, onto no. the wooden floor. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. That's that's it. Okay, it's it's going to catch on fire and like yeah, burn. Yeah. A little me. bit, bit of a breeze. That's actually quite good. Whoa! <laughs> I saw that. Yeah. I can smell the smoke. <laughs> yeah. I know. Emergency. Yeah. Um, I think oh, I might. Ow. Are you alright? Yeah, yeah. It gets yeah. hot. Yeah. <laughs> I might. Can we shorten this down just a tiny bit? I'm sorry. Okay, so the next step, I'll, I'll show you on this. Hold on to this one. I'll grab the light. So I put some rosin on here now, and I just kind of heat that up, and I put a bit more rosin on. That's cool. So you just do this, and it's like that's, um, looks like toffee. Okay, yeah, Whoa. that's it. Nice. Okay. Nice. Master. Well All right. Now, Master of fire and rosin. Now this is the fun part. I lean it against there, and I kind of press it. Down, see okay. how it's kind of bending. Yeah. Then you get the wedge. Wow. Put the wedge in. You've got to press it down a bit harder. But now you can do that with your hair. Yeah, that's. I'm scared to push. Yeah, no, push. yeah, that's it. That's it. And now you've time. got to do. Hang on a sec. Yeah, don't don't twist it. You oh. <laughs> don't twist. See if you can press it down again. See if you can oh, push oh, that the push. In. Yeah, yeah. That, and now all you've got to do is. Do put, put this, the wedge in? Yeah, I'll put, the, put wedge. the wedge in. You put it in this way yeah. and just push down. That's it. <gasps> we've got the hair and the tip. That's beautiful. And now we've got to wet the hair and comb it. Okay. So how long does it did it <laughs> take for you to of... learn this? It like took me ages. It, um, well, to get good at it, it probably took me took me a year or so. I mean, yeah, it wow. took, to my first re hair it took me about a month or so to learn. Mm, okay. But I was I was forever redoing and redoing steps. Yeah. I don't know how many like how many hanks of hair I <laughs> I like ruined wow. in the process. So we're just going to put that in here now and we're going to do some combing. Literally just start combing through this. I'm going to let you guys have a okay. go at this. Uh, so, and do you want to also wet it again? Do you want to like, okay. like do the whole thing? Lift up the bow. Yeah, that's it. And then we're going to like... <laughs> like that. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes, that's yeah. it. It's nice. like washing your hair. Oh, we got to do the other side. Yeah, yeah, just go right up to the tip. Oh. It doesn't matter if it gets slightly wet, but yeah. <gasps> Touched it. <laughs> it's fine. So I usually do this about 20 to 25 times. Five times? Yeah. There you go. One. What does that achieve? It means that the hair is totally straight in the rehair. If you were to pull a rehair apart, mm -hmm. the hair is just in a perfect and a straight line and it doesn't cross over. Oh, Because okay. when it crosses over, it affects the tone. You want it to go all the way to the end, that way it's straight. See how straight that actually is? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. the knot's going to sit in like it's going to wrap around like a back and then back around here. Mm -hmm. So I actually have to start like a, I'll, I'll draw a line. So it has to be, the knot has to start about there mm -hmm. to get this right. But how would you feel about me doing this knot? Yeah, together? skipping the process. Leaving it to the professional. Yep. Yeah. Some people also use a type of glue to stick these knots together. 
in the end it doesn't matter like it as it's long just, as it but <laughs> as yeah. long as the knot sticks together it's all fine if i combed it a certain way i would have um put more tension on one side of the rear hair than on the other side so oh. if i comb it to one side then this side would be shorter oh, actually do you guys want to do this again i know how much you, yeah, yeah, you yeah, love, yeah, you love doing this <laughs> <laughs> getting good at this it? you're getting better that's enough now oh, that's hard. perfect yes <laughs> okay yeah this again so we're gonna pop it here so you just dip it so the next step is going to be to, like we'll have to comb it another couple of times mm -hmm. and we'll be putting it in the frog. It's going to go around from, from this side, grab it that way and you turn it around and put it in this way. But before that there's one thing missing and that's the ferrule. Just slip it all the way through and just put it towards the tip. So what we're going to do now is go to recomb it about four times or something. to fantastic. Perfect. Right. Okay, so now you gotta lean the edge on here. Yeah. Push it in? So, yeah. And now you grab the wedge, just slide it with your finger forward. Yeah, that's it. And now you've gotta do the pressing down. We'll give it a couple more combs. What they invented this little... <laughs> Yeah, I know. What it's is this? In. So it's called the slide. Just gently slide it Whoa! And now you get the arrow and. Oh, oh, yeah. See how the, the bow is there, it's really narrow right mm -hmm. now. Oh, yeah. So the last thing's called the spreader wedge. Yeah, so you just put it in that way, that's it. And now if you can just carefully... Can you trust me? I do trust you. Yeah, that's that's really good there. And maybe one more. Yeah. I'm going to do this bit. Oops, this okay. Oh, so, that's, how that's what it is. And now, and now it's all can, spread out. Yeah, so now you grab it and put it in there. Nice! <laughs> Okay, so this That's is the rear hair, done. Wow! <laughs> I think we've even put a tiny bit more hair on the playing side. That's good. It's fairly straight. Um, <coughs> uh, <laughs> oh, you know, there's a bit, there's a bit that's nice. So this is nice and straight, and here's just a little bit where it's not quite oh, as straight. Oh, yeah. the crisscrosses. The goal is to actually have it Everything all straight stripped. the entire length. A oh, 10, how do you think? Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, you guys did really well. It's really, really well. nice. Really, really, really well. Really well. Really well. Really well. Really well. Not on the because, scale yeah. yet. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it guys, that's how you do in rehearsal. Special thanks to Olaf. If you're in Brisbane, Australia, definitely check Olaf out. Nevada Studios. Yeah. Awesome, thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.